We're back with another video. In this video, we're going to discuss like in this CRM integration for Zoho plugin, how the admin or WooCommerce merchants can easily create the feeds and map the fields correctly. So as you can see, these are default feeds like abandoned carts, default sales order feeds, product feeds, contact feeds, deals feeds. But if the admin wants to create more feeds as per his requirements and wants to sync the data in that particular feed, from here, he can click on Add Feeds. And here the admin can easily select the object. From here, let's select Contacts. I have selected the objects as contacts. The option is available, like Map Fields, Add a New Field, Primary Field, Select Events. So for now in this event section, three options are given like for Order, User, and Product. From here, the admin needs to select any of the options like order is created or user updated or created, or product updated or created. Let's suppose I have selected like for this order, new order is created. And here I have added a new field if I want to add a new field. So from here, I will add the field like here. These are the fields of Zoho that you can add here and map the fields accordingly so that all the WooCommerce data gets mapped to these particular fields. Like here, these are various Zoho fields, as you can see that. For now, like I'm adding like description. Let me add the field here. The field has been added. Let me hover on these map fields. Here the admin or the WooCommerce merchants need to map the data very correctly. This is the field of WooCommerce. The admin needs to map with the Zoho fields that are given here. Like if the admin has selected the event as order, like here, the event is order he needs to find the field value in the order section. If the admin has selected the value as in the events that is order, here he needs to find the value in the order section. This is a shop order. Here he needs to map this billing first name with this first name, and he needs to map in this shop order section, and he cannot map in the other two sections that was like for the user and the product. If the admin is mapping the billing the first name in that particular section that is product or user so that the data will not be synced properly. Because we have selected the event as new order is created. Accordingly, you have to map the data next if I will scroll down. Here, as you can see, a new field has been added and the type is text area. What does that, what does that mean? That means whatever the field value or the data will be coming, that will be in the form of text and text area. This is how this will work. The data will be in the type of text here, as you can see that. And here, as you can see for mobile, the type is a phone. So the data will be coming on the basis of phone numbers. So that is how you can see the type and API name is given here as mobile, and the maximum length is 30. Let me scroll down. One more functionality is there like here, the admin can select a standard feed, standard fields, or if the admin wants to add a custom value. From here, he can select this and he can provide the custom value. Like if I want to provide a custom value for this, let me create any custom value I have created like this. And here, let me select like I want the data of billing first name and billing last name in this custom value. I have given this dynamic string and this is the static string. This will, this will remain the same and this will change according to the customer name. That's why it's dynamic, and this is static. I have added this. Let me click on Publish. This has been published, and now let me show you if this data is working properly or not. To check this, so you just have to go to Orders and let us select any of these orders. So, let me perform the sync manually. This is the test feed that I have created just now. Let me click on Sync Manually. The process has been completed. Let us go to the log section. This is the test feed. As you can see, the first name is coming here, the last name, email, phone, mobile. And here you must be noticing that this is the description that we have added. The data has come like along with the static and dynamic data. This was static and this was dynamic. As we have added the string as first name and last name, so it is coming here. And we have also added this WPS, let us also check on Zoho. Here, as you can see that in this description, so this was text area, so that I was talking about. Here, as you can see that it is coming here. Whatever the data that we wanted to sync with the custom value, it is coming here. 
This is how the admin has to create the feeds and map the data accordingly. So one thing that admin needs to keep in mind, like why mapping the fields? Like we have selected the event as order. So I have mapped this billing first name in this order section. If the admin has selected any other event for the product or the user, he needs to scroll down. This is the, this is the, like, as you can see that for this event, the field value. As you can see that for product, it is given separately. And for the user, it will be provided separately. Like, let me scroll down more. As you can see that users, so for now, like, let's suppose if I've selected, like, in this user section, I have selected first name. And the event is selected for orders so that data will not be synced properly. Because in this field value, I have selected the first name that is correct, but first name is of user section. That is not correct. The admin needs to select the first name or the billing first name in that particular section for the event that he has selected, like I have selected for the order. I need to go here and here this is the shop order section. And here I need to select billing first name this is how the mapping has to be done properly. And if the admin wants to add the custom value. So I have explained to you how the admin can easily add the custom value. And once he has done all the settings, so he can click on update. So let us again go back to the feeds. This was all about how the admin can easily create the feeds and map the data accordingly. And if you are looking to watch a complete video on CRM integration for Zoho plugin, we have mentioned the link in the description content or you can also click on this i button to watch the complete video for this plugin. The links to the product have been mentioned in the video's description. You can check and get all the details. If you are facing any queries regarding the plugin functionalities, you can mention your queries in the comment section. This was all about the video. Stay tuned till the next video. Thank you.